If you play Eternal Return, you have probably been... by a sweaty rosy player and wondered is it fun to play the chocolate eating thigh high wearing big teddy bayonetta illusion mix rosy cue the montage you want some too come get some you are going to brazil Murder is okay. It helps you make friends. Uh, 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 what the hell are you two doing? Uh, uh, ow. What the fuck was that damage, my guy? Another victim. Anyone that tried to play Rosie exactly knows that playing this 20 year old big titty golf GF makes you go through the 5 stages of Rosie. First time eh? You just picked up Rosie because you like how she and her gameplay looks. You don't really know what's going on, but you're having fun. Just think of yourself as unlucky. As you play more games you feel like you're getting worse and dying before even finishing your weapon. You think that all characters are OP and that Rosie needs a buff. At this stage you will learn that leather has a 60% drop rate and getting 3 raw meat in a row is only a 6.4% chance. Funny right? Intel wins wars. You started to watch videos, read reddit threads and join the Rosie discord. Furthermore you watch the top Rosie players on Twitch and try to learn as much as you can. You understand exactly what items to build and how to optimize your path. Not many left now. You realize you suck with Rosie and despite watching so many streams, you still can't get to top 3 consistently. You die even though you have auto arms and a full Mithril set. By this point, a lot of people abandon Rosie and try something easier. I didn't think I'd make it this far. I suck, you suck, everybody sucks. At this stage, you reach enlightenment. You grasp the Rosie lifestyle. And now you finally understand, no matter how good you are, Every Rosie player sucks. I'm just fucking bad or something. I don't know. There are a lot of games you just aren't able to win, but that's okay. Mummy will take care of you. If you go through all five stages, you can, just like me, get to gold in four days with her and might be able to win a game without having any kills prior. Story Isabella Rosie was trained as a mercenary from a very young age by a based militant group in Brazil. This group eventually betrayed her, ending in her face being burned. You probably didn't know that you can actually see the scar on her face, right here. She is now a very important member of an organization called Corda Darko. How the f Corda Darko. Fun fact, according to Google, Corda is a lamb. Anyways, she has no interest in forming close relationships with anyone. So rip to anybody looking for a big titty of GF. Except, what if I told you? There's a chance. A hidden spell, forgotten for centuries, which makes her tolerate you. Trust me, this isn't a scam. The only thing you have to do is subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. You did it? Okay, the secret is give her chocolate. Skills. After using a skill, your next normal attack will trigger twice, but only consumes one bullet. Furthermore, you gain SP equal to HP and the other way around if you consume food items crafted with chocolate. Her Q is a skill shot that fires a laser. After hitting an enemy, you can dash in any direction and your Q cooldown gets reduced. Perfect for kiting. Your W does a spin. It reloads your weapon, gives you a small speed buff, decreases the enemy's defense and reduces the HP regen from food. Great for chasing. E. Rosie jumps over an enemy. While using the skill you are completely invincible. 
You can also reactivate the skill to push the enemy away from you. This will reset your passive and can stun enemies if you hit them against a the wall. Your R is a Semtex bomb, which slows the target. A few normal attacks will cause it to explode immediately, dealing extra damage, reducing its cooldown and increasing your movement speed. Skills count as a few auto attacks. Combining this skill with a weapon skill is what makes Rosie really shine. You will be able to ult up to 5 times a fight, dealing a lot of damage. Plus, it makes kiting so much easier and annoying. There were so many moments where a melee character tried to chase me, but after hitting one or two ults, I could turn on them and kill them. Wicker line. A wicker line fight is mediocre at best. Rosie is extremely vulnerable while fighting Wick. You want to damage her a bit, heal up, and then kill her. You will be able to kill her pretty quickly. Builds. I plan on making a separate in depth guide about Rosie's build if the preseason doesn't change it. Make sure to join the Rosie Discord and while you're at it, also join mine. For now, I can only recommend this build. Make sure to pick up coffee for mocha bread and to always craft hot chocolate if possible. Upgrades. Her only upgrades are Opera Mask, Red Shoes, Auto Arms, and any of the Mithril items, preferably the Shield or the Helmet. So make sure to check every purple chest you see. And don't you dare build a Kelt. I see you looking at it. Keep the Electron Blaster. Matchup. Nothing much to say here. Just general stuff. Check their build. Weapon skill, farm animals, and kill every Sylvia you see. She can't run away this time. I'm too fast and deal too much damage. <laughs> ah, where was I? Ah, yes. You say E to dodge high damage skills. Gameplay A lot of skill spamming, kiting, dying early game, and turning on people who underestimate you. Sooner or later, you will notice she's a glass cannon. Still pretty good though. 4 out of 5 ults I regularly hit. Looks. Her default skin is amazing, a nice haircut, cool black and gold color scheme, sexy thigh highs. Okay, but this is just divine, exquisite. And some really big guns. And boobs too, 10 out of 10. Also, these two pictures have the same vibe. Black Rose Rosie is actually from Immortal Soul, but looks a lot better in the herbs. The nail polish and especially the tennis skirt are amazing. The red inside the jacket and on the weapons is also really cool. But hot take, I don't like the red on the jacket. It's too bright and vibrant. 6 out of the 10 bullets I have left in my blaster. Change the red and I will reload the weapon. This is actually the first time where all Immortal Soul skins suck. Except Succubus Rosie. For obvious reasons. You guys should already know what comes now. My pussy. He's very big and cute. Oh, and by the way, there are no enticing pictures of Rosie. But now to the only question that is left to be answered. Is it fun to play Rosie? Yes, but actually no. Okay, playing Rosie is like playing ranked in League. You had fun when you started, because everything is new and exciting. But the more you play, the more you lose this fun. You keep chasing this high even though you know it will never come back, but you invested so much time already. It would be a waste to drop her now, you already went through all the 5 stages. Conclusion. Play her. She's pretty fun. Join the Discord and follow me on Twitch, I will start streaming for get 20 followers. Okay, have a great day, bye.